Hello all. Welcome back to Life is Strange. So, this episode is going to be starting just a little bit different. Let me explain what's going on. So you'll notice I have two save games here. So the reason is I branched uh, my progress from save game one and I restarted the second chapter. Now the reason that I did this is I realized while I was watching back the footage and then somebody left a, a comment under one of my videos that when I was rewinding time to try to prevent Alyssa from getting hit by the toilet paper, I accidentally uh, undid the whole conversation with Dana. And in that conversation she invited me to the Halloween party and I wanted absolutely to make sure that I got that invitation. Now, I don't know for sure that it matters, because I don't think that it was a, like, this choice have has consequences kind of conversation, but just to be absolutely sure I got an invite to that party, I went back and redid that whole thing. So, uh, all of the decisions that I made in save game two are the same that I did in save game one, so it's not like anything is going to be different. I did also pick up the photographs that I had missed. Um, there was one just out in the courtyard when you leave the dormitory, and then there was another one uh, when you get to the Two Whales Diner, so I just took the two photos that I had missed. So otherwise, everything that you're going to see here should be exactly where we were when I last stopped playing. So, I should be in the, uh, in the junkyard. Oh, I guess it's gonna replay this a little bit. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. This girl is gonna get me into so much trouble. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Ugh. I just don't like her personality at all. You can handle it. Like there's- this is serious stuff that's going on. And she's just being a kid. Alright. So she wants us to find some bottles, and I'm using this as an excuse to explore the junkyard. First of all, let's look for license plates. Every car has its own tale and history. This one has a board in it. An old doll. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. Not exactly my reaction, but we'll go with it. So what have we got for things here? I have to find five bottles, sure. But where were we in the... There. Okay, so this starts day two. So yeah, let's skim this for anything interesting. Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party to the ER, and she thinks he did something to her, but she doesn't remember what. She also said that there was somebody else there, because she heard, like, a voice talking to her, 
and then she heard Nathan. So there were at least two people there. She said it was a bright room and that they drove in a car for a long time. Kate asked if she should go to the police and the principal. I told her that she absolutely should. Warren was waiting, waiting for me. <laughs> he had invited Brooke to uh, go to the movies. <laughs> I have a... Here, let me show you. I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies instead. I'll text you later. Yeah, so that happened. So I guess I was Warren's second choice. Well, I was his first choice, but the second person that he asked. Oh wait, I did say I would go to the drive-in with him. I hope he doesn't make a lame move on me. Not that he would, egomaniac. Warren and I do have a lot in common, but he's like a super cool geek brother. Uh-oh. Anyway, I definitely need a movie escape. She's writing in her journal that Warren is like her brother. That's not good, Warren. That's not good at all. We answered Kate's call. Chloe was a pain about it. I'm not a fan of Chloe's petulant side. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm coming from. She tried to make me feel like an ass, but screw that. Chloe has to know I can have two friends at once. Ooh, we got an entry on Joyce. Talking to Joyce Price after five years was almost as intense as seeing Chloe again. Especially right back in Ye Olde Two Whales Diner. That clinking of silverware and the smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back to being a kid, hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smiling at Chloe, even in mischief. I doubt she smiles at her hijinks now, but they still banter like mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died that I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how often Joyce relives that day. That's the worst kind of rewind, one you can't control. But if I could go back to that moment, what would I do? I can only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Madsen. Talk about opposites. You can tell she loves him, disturbing as that sounds. Maybe she just wanted a more structured life for herself. Obviously it didn't work out that way with Chloe. I hope they both treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. So here you see the two pictures that I had missed. I got the squirrel on the bench that was just like right outside the dormitory. And when I arrived at the diner, I snapped this photo of the whales. Uh, and then the other three I had already taken on camera. So I'm on page two here. We're looking for the number 142, which looks like it's, uh, what is that in the background? That actually might be at the junkyard. It looks like there might be like some junk behind it. We've got a hand holding up a gun with the lighthouse in the background, some science speakers, a silhouette in front of a window, and a deer. So that's what I'm looking for. No new texts. All right, so we are looking for bottles and... This is the scariest thing here. What is it? A shirt. Why is a shirt the scariest thing here? I can't really see it because it's got lines drawn all over it. It's a red shirt. It's kind of weird. I don't know. My vote is still for the doll. What does that say? Scavenger? No. SCA something. so sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Oop, I see a bottle. 
Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. Stupid bottle. All right. Let's find some way to get that bottle without breaking it. Uh, man, there's like so much stuff here. Where do I even start? Let's start. This looks like the entrance. I don't want to go that way. Okay. This will be our starting point, and then I'll go clockwise around the place. What can we glean here? Pacific Steve's famous crab. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I love the hush puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Let's take a look at the school bus. Oh, we can photo it. Oh, there's 142. That's what it is. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Yeah, it's filmed with filled with eye beams. So how am I gonna get this bottle? Let me drag this crate over to it. Maybe I can use this to reach the bottle. The bus from the bus from up here. Something like that. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. I'm guessing this thing with the bottles is really just a, a means to get us to go all over the junkyard, so there's probably a lot of stuff to explore here. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Oh, an old camera. That's kind of a creepy noise. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Yeah, it didn't happen that time. It played kind of a freaky looking sound, a freaky sound though. When I, there, I hear it again. I guess that's just background noise. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Right. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Hey Samuel. Ooh, bottle. Coming this fall, Max Caulfield, bottle hunter. <laughs> Boom, only three bottles It's like it's making fun of itself. Uh, no license plate. Ooh, anarchy sign. Warren. Uh, okay, we saw him with the black eye. Is Dr. Graham in the house serious science question? I make house calls for you. What up, pup? Puts on serious science face. What do you know about relativity, wormholes, time travel? So now I'm Doctor Who or Doc Brown for what class? I never got any cool time science homework, and I know this shit. I'll explain in detail later if you actually help me. Like time, my texts are infinite. Plus I have unlimited messaging. I'll make you a list of essential books and websites and movies. I'm intrigued by your new interest in science. You know I like sci-fi, just think hard about it, K. Okay? Hit me up anytime if you have any other questions. I'll be in the TARDIS getting my DeLorean ready. We are so going ape. Newburgh is 60 miles. I guess that's where the drive-in is. So we should leave around 5. I drive. Hell yeah, we will in your new ride. We have to get supplies for the drive-in. Maybe we can have dinner first. <laughs> or whatever. Go ape. Too late. I'll totally have dinner with him. You might think of him as a brother, but he's totally a suitor. Come on. Wow, sir. Oh. That looks exactly like the oh. same doe from my tornado vision. He's a deer. Take photo. Uh, all right. I guess I'll go over there. That doe is the perfect photo op. 
Uh, I mean, that's true, but it's clearly a ghost. Wait, isn't it? No, now it looks, it looks blurry. Yeah, it's like translucent. So what does it look like in the photo? Uh... Oh god, that's really hard to tell. I don't see the deer in the photo, but there's something there. Like in the top left, it looks like there's some... play of light or phantasm or something there. I can't tell what it is exactly. Hi, dear. That's our spirit animal. Like, quite literally. It doesn't seem that I can follow it. Well, alright, let's kind of reset. Hello, stump. Uh, let's kind of reset and continue our clockwise search. Looked at the washing machine. There's another car. Not investigatable. What does that say? Arcadia Bay sucks. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. It's just the other side of the same bus. Piece of clothing. Hey, there's a license plate that doesn't have something weird on it. 1B5B3G. And that is a... Uh... I can't tell what that is. This was an old school punk shirt. Okay. Another washing machine. It's the same sign. This one says Hotel C O U N T Y, County Hotel. I go around the perimeter, I've got to remember to check inside of it. Because <laughs> I, I know I miss that stuff. Can you see anything through the woods? There's something up there on the, like, mountainside. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Uh, guess William died in a car accident. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Here, we've got the train tracks. Nope, I don't want to go there. Oh, I see some writing inside that building over there. Graffiti. Oh, that's pleasant. Thanks for the tip. I guess it's better than the alternative. There's no more here. Is that a message about drugs? Money? There's no more here. Or there's no... Does that say more? M-O... <laughs> Mofo? <laughs> I 
I don't want to go that way. I am fine. Car wreck. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? Hmm. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Board as a bridge. Oh, I see a bottle. Okay. Use this board as a bridge. Ooh, syringes. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. So I'm guessing I need to use the plank to get to that bottle. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. So I gotta get up there somehow. Ooh, flutter by. Gun shells. There's a bucket with sticks in it. Those shells look fresh. Ah, here we go. God, there's like just so much stuff to look at here. I'm overwhelmed by things. A football. Deflated. The Bigfoots were here. Looks like... Beer, probably, and soda, and... Mixers. Alright, let's use this plank. Over to you. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Okay. Three down, two to go. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Maybe we'll see something whilst. We'll Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Whenever they do these kind of... clips where they show you different angles on... I always feel like there's got to be stuff hiding in these pictures somewhere. There's writing on the back of that sign. Fans. A couple of fans blowing. Just looking for anything. None of these cars have license plates. There is a building on the hill behind us still. I guess that could be the Academy. Crushed can. Yeah, the only thing I really see is the graffiti right there on the back of that sign. Souls. Oh, she's got a bottle. That's four. All right. Oh, there's one. Oh, no, that's her truck. Twin Peaks. So, alright, here's something interesting. When we saw the cutscene... I know there's a bonfire spot where people yeah, yeah, around Yeah, I get here. it. Nope, I don't want to go there. I get around to the other side of this truck. Alright, what I'm trying to say, though, is that in the scene where we were driving in the truck, there was a, like, Illuminati pyramid symbol 
on the like back wall there under the window and it's not there now that I can see and there was also on this wall over here which I can't get a good angle at there was another symbol that it was like a little square with a cross through it and several times I I've seen other symbols that I keep thinking are that same one but I've been wrong every time they're all slightly different all right so I gotta find two more bottles huh let's go look in the inside of this area over here I saw there was a stump here I can sit on the stump against the stump it's so quiet and primordial out here I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. It's giving you invisible deer. I just have to figure out the message. The message is follow the deer. So there's bus 142 in case I had missed the photo. That's the mountain behind us. What is this in the foreground? I'm not sure. Junk, probably. Do you see any bottles anywhere here? Hmm. Alright, so I'm looking for a bonfire and two more bottles. Somewhere where people would have made a bonfire. Alright. Let's check around this little island. Why does she think the shirt is so creepy? This is the scariest thing here. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Alright, let's get inside this building. There's gotta be a bottle in here. It's an elephant tapestry. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. Alright, Chloe sucks at darts. I'm guessing Rachel was blue. a busty woman and a dog. I hope she's not kicking that dog. Ooh, bracelet. A kind of girl, ma teenage girls magazine. That kind of hurts. Is that like twisted wire around a bracelet? Oh no, I see. Chloe and Rachel bracelets. This was their hideout. Welcome to hell. Paper ball. Now, what's up with this weird secret relationship? Oh. Sounds like Rachel was confused about it, maybe even ashamed. I wish she named names. I, I better not show this to Chloe or she will be seriously hurt. All right, the thing over there says one th I'm reading the note on the left. It says 1337 plus 31. So someone is adding something. Chloe, you can tell how much I want to read this letter since I've been... You can tell how much I want you to read this letter since I've been dragging my ass to give it to you. Maybe I just want you to find it when I'm not around so we never have to talk about it. And I don't want you to hate me. Where do I start? I met somebody recently who's so different from the lame Vortex Club snobs. I know you'll have a meltdown when I tell you and think he's gross, but I swear he's wise and unconventional. Kind of scary, not in a bad way. Not in a bad boy way. He's just experienced some serious shit. Yes, I'm kind of obsessed. I won't blame you for freaking. Maybe I know you're right and this just has to be my secret. I hate not sharing this with you, except I know you'd give me that stink eye. 
and grill me for every stupid detail. If I ever told you that first, last, that last night we hooked up something near campus and then a whole lot of crossed out stuff. If I even told you that last night we hooked up near campus, dot, 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 okay. <laughs> Obsessed. Sick. Huh. All right, so she met someone. My, my initial reaction is that the someone is Mark Jefferson. But the thing is, Mark Jefferson was a, stu was a teacher at the school. Now, I don't know how long he's been a teacher at the school. We know that both Chloe and Rachel went to the school. Um, and Chloe got suspended and Rachel disappeared. So, I mean, it, so far it kind of makes it sound like it was someone that they wouldn't have known, like that Chloe wouldn't have known. So that makes me think maybe it's not Jefferson. Oh, there's that symbol again. That was the one I was saying was in her truck. It was also in the bathroom where we saved Chloe's life. playing with makeup. La la land this way. G or 9, 7, 8 a.m. Bottle. One more bottle to go. It says, fuck you. Yes, you. Ooh, we got a message from Kate. Ouch. Let me get to you later today. Okay, this was from before. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem, that guy's an asshole. Max, I want to thank you for giving me such great advice about going to the police and telling them everything about Nathan. I appreciate you standing by me. Keeps my faith. Kate, I'm on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. I'm already in trouble around here. She says, and thanks so much for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry, and I needed a friend. You were there as usual. Aw. It's going well. It's going well with Kate. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? I wish I were better at, like, handwriting analysis. Because I, I think that'd be really cool. To, like, figure out who wrote all the various things that we've seen all over the place. I'm, my initial guess is that Rachel wrote it. Oh, look, there's like a whole pad of stuff under there that I want to read. There's another one of those. What is that thing there? Like a... I don't know what that is that I'm seeing. The thing immediately to the right of the highlighted pad. It's like a orange stick. I thought at first it was a paintbrush, but it doesn't have a brush at the end of it. Leaflet. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. She disappeared in April. This is March 28th. DJ Irish Bacon. Black Party Vortex Club. Chloe was here. Rachel was here. Oh! Okay, see, see their handwriting is different. So, that note looks a lot more like Chloe's handwriting than Rachel's. Rachel has very curly, curly handwriting and she kind of alternates capital and lowercase letters. Rachel does. Chloe writes in all caps, very bold, very loud. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. Max writes... even loopier. 
All right, I'm trying. I'm going to try to remember this handwriting. She writes with proper case. I say proper case. Yeah, she writes with correct case. <laughs> and she makes her A's like twos. Lowercase E's. Rachel and Chloe both use uppercase E's. So this note definitely looks like... I want to die. It matches Chloe's handwriting. Jeez. Who wrote this? Makes sense. Maybe she wrote that like after Rachel went missing. She was really depressed. Or maybe like after her dad died or something. Huh. Ah. L A bitch. Is that me? I didn't go to L.A., though. I went to Washington. So, is that Chloe? Is that Rachel and Chloe? If so, Rachel was really tall, because Chloe is pretty tall. Um, I don't remember how tall she was. It said it on her missing poster. So, alright, that person on the left looks kind of like that person there. At least they both have a ponytail. And there's a dog. The only dog we've seen so far is Frank's dog. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Oh. Looks fun. Speaking of L.A. Psychedelic Apocalypse. This was, what's the date? August 12th, 2013. So... So this is after... This is after Rachel went missing. So who is they? This is only a couple of months ago. Wait a minute. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. Who is they? Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. See, that's not Chloe's handwriting. I don't think Chloe made that mixtape. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Hmm. Okay. Well, thing up there. So we got one bottle out of here, and a bunch of questions. Cool hideout though. Interesting that there's a picture of a girl with a dog in there. Okay, it's gonna yell at me if I go this way. Let's see if Chloe's bottle counts. <laughs> That's my Chloe. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby? And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods? So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? No. No way. I still don't even know how my power works. Or for how long. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic. Boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. I'm, I'm so glad this is fun for you. Help me find this fifth damn bottle. So where would there be a bonfire? I mean, this area seems the most bonfire-like. 
If I came into this junkyard and decided to make a bonfire, I would make it. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party. Oh, shush. Wait, wait, go to the train, go to the train. Oh, I missed it. I want to see if there's anything on the train. Oh. I didn't miss anything. I just rewound my whole conversation with Chloe. Nope, I don't want to go there. Why couldn't I rewind the train? Like... I saw the train go by after my conversation with her, and I rewound all the way to the conversation with her. But the train never went backward. I don't think the time travel... I don't want to go that way. I don't think the time travel thing is, like, that accurate. Like, what we see while we're reversing, because there have been a whole bunch of glitches when I've rewound, like, the bathroom door getting stuck open and Kate disappearing. So, I don't think we can trust what we see in those, like, rewind sequences. Alright, where's this fifth damn bottle, and where's the stupid bonfire I keep talking about? Here it is. What's that? I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. I see. When I touch this, that falls over. Okay. Here's the last bottle. Oh yes, we can use this one for a target. That is a well-hidden campfire. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Alright. Can you be quiet about the campfire now? <laughs>